Hey, what's up, folks? This is Gray here, and today we're going to be looking at a very small, very compact 300-watt uh, uh, power station. I think this is 296 watt-hours that it is. Uh, this is the Ernova uh, PEPS300. Very small, very compact little unit. So I thought to myself, what could I use this for uh, in regards to emergency preparedness? They were so kind to send me this unit and also send me the solar panels, which the solar panels I am really, really impressed with. But in my head, I was thinking 300 watts, you know, 296 watt hours. What could I possibly use this for? What's the price point and stuff like that? Now, uh, I won't, you know, take up all of your time uh, this afternoon or this evening, whenever this video happens to find you. But I do found a few things that I do like about this unit, specifically the screen and other things, which I'll show you here in a bit. But so in the meantime, I thought, well, this is something that is so lightweight and so compact. I thought, you know, something that my daughter could use for emergency preparedness in regards to if the power was to go out to her room, instead of having to run cords for, let's say, one of my bigger power stations or my, you know, gas power generator or whatnot, she could have this in her room. She could power her television, her fans, her phone. They just have wireless charging on top. What she could do with that. And so I thought of myself, well, I set this little thing up and I said, what could I do out here to kind of showcase what this thing could do in regards to bringing some light to the situation. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and snap my fingers, uh, make the sun go down and we'll be in pitch blackness. And then I'm going to turn on the lights and see how much this thing produces when I hook it up to these LED lights that I have all kind of around me. It's like string lights. Uh, they're waterproof, weatherproof kind of, you know, LED lighting, something that you would use on your patio, your porch, even in your home uh, as emergency lighting, being that LEDs usually uh, draw less power. Uh, so we're going to hook it up to this and see how much light we get out of it. So here we go. All right, folks, here we are with a snap of some fingers. The sun is gone. Man, do I wield some power, right? Anyway, just kidding. Uh, so right now I'm being lit by the power station itself, by the little light that's on top of that power station. I'm going to go ahead and shut that power station off. As you can kind of see behind me, I have these LED lights all throughout this tent uh, or canopy per se. And I'm going to turn this light off and we're going to see how much light this produces and how much power it draws. All right. Not too bad, right? Not too shabby. Uh, actually looks pretty good, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, if you can kind of see the lighting that I have all the way around here. And uh, it's lit up pretty good. I even put see uh, so that you guys can see how I have this lighting just kind of sporadically through this canopy here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get up on the power station here. Uh, where are we at? We are at 77%. It's telling me that these lights are pulling 21 watts uh, and we'll get 11 hours out of that. So like I said, anywhere from 12 to 14 hours, uh, it would probably run these lights uh, at 100% starting. Uh, we did get a little bit of rain. Uh, so it does have a water resistance factor as well. I wouldn't suggest soaking this thing. So you can see how basically this could be something beneficial in a power outage or a grid down situation where you need some light and whatnot. Like again, something like this is going to be more geared towards your small electronics. Anyway, so let's go back to me during the day and uh, let's finish up this review. So anyways, I don't know what you guys thought about that, but I've had a little bit of fun with it. I wanted to kind of just show you specifically, you know, something that you could use in a uh, power outage, you know what I mean? Something simple as this that could run those lights for quite some time. So this would work very well for that. And again, I think this would be great uh, as an emergency preparedness device for my daughter in her room uh, so that she has her own little unit. Now, for you folks out there at home, uh, I thought about things that this could run for you. Specifically, a lot of people ask me about the CPAP machines. Uh, this will run a CPAP machine. It does have the capability to do so, uh, and it'll run you through the night. Uh, I know you always want to check your wattage and watt hours and how things progress and you want to do the mathematics behind that kind of stuff so that you know. Uh, but all in all, this will run a CPAP machine and various other small electronics. Now, of course, uh, you're not going to try to run your full size uh, refrigerator with it. Sure, you could probably plug it in and maybe get it maybe an hour or less out of that. But this is not what something like this is made for. This is made definitely for small electronics. Uh, and the thing is, it's very portable. So if you had to take it on the go, if you had to take it with you to work, uh, put it in your car, uh, Little things like that, you know what I mean, that you could use something like this for. Because I had to think outside of the box for this unit here. Now, uh, just to kind of give you a rundown real quick, uh, it is a 300 watt portable power supply. Uh, it is a 296 watt hour, uh, as they call it, power bank. And you do have some things up here on the front of the screen that I'm going to get close and show you real quick. 
Uh, but I really also want to show you the solar panels that it came with because this, I was truly impressed with these solar panels because of what you can do with them uh, and we'll get to them here in a bit. All right, folks, so I wanted to get really close to this screen here because it is a very vivid, uh, colorful screen. And what I mean by that is you can easily see this in the dark. Uh, it will dim on you as well, uh, but you can still see it when you push these buttons. So let me go ahead and push the DC button here. And basically by holding these buttons in, of course, it's gonna activate the centers of this device. Now we'll get a little bit lower down here below and I can show you everything that it has. Uh, and you see that little icon up there, that means the fan is running there. But anyways, you can see that when you activate the DC, the USB, or the AC outlet, it gives you those little inclinations that it's there. So it's very simple to use. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick rundown of the front of this unit here. Again, that's the LED light there. Uh, of course, you hold these buttons in to activate the DC. Right down here, you're going to have your basically cigarette adapter, a.k.a. you know accessory outlet. Uh, you're going to have two 5-amp DC plugs there. You're also going to have an input and an output on the PD60 there. You're going to have a quick charge 3.0 and two USB 5 volt 2.4 amp plugs there, as well as two AC outlets as well. Now, this is a pure sine wave uh, uh, inverter and whatnot power uh, supply, uh, so it will protect your electronics. And then up here, this is also a DC input for the solar panels, but we'll get into that here in a bit. Uh, but those are kind of the rundown of this screen here. I figure I don't really need to go over it too much. As you can see down here, this is a 12 volt, 10 amp, and it kind of gives you, everything is pretty much basic on there that tells you what it is. And it's always nice to have one of these PD60 watts out here. There's some that have 100 watts, but with a unit this small, uh, 60 watts I think is suffice. And again, I enjoy the screen and how bright that screen is. Whenever I touch it, you see it just pops up there. And of course, all your icons there across the screen. So, all right, folks. So real quick, uh, I wanted to kind of go over their solar panels as well uh, and I'll take you on the inside of the solar panels of what's inside this case on the outside if you guys have ever bought one of these portable power units uh, like this guy here you're going to know that if you buy a solar panel with it or solar panels individually from the unit because you don't have to buy the unit let's say you just buy the solar panels versus the unit uh, you have options but I'm going to go into this bag because this is what actually surprised me uh, which I find it's a true benefit uh, so we can go ahead and take these snaps here uh, they have like a rubber thing so you can tighten them down. And I probably should get up close, but I don't think it, people really care about the, the the clasp and whatnot on these things here. And uh, I think I hear a plane going by. Another thing I wanted to show you real quick is on a lot of solar panels, let me move the device down here out of my way so that I can show you guys, spin this around. So they have these things here so that you can kind of adjust your angle of the solar panels. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up, and you probably can't see me from there. Make a lot of noise with the mic, but hey. So, and this is just, I'm not, I don't even have it open all the way. I'm just kind of showing you that these little feet here, because it's nice to have that capability to adjust the angles uh, in there and whatnot. So depending on what you want to do with these things, you can kind of play around with the angle depending on the sun, or lay them flat, or lay them on your vehicle or whatnot. Um, but anyways, uh, this is a 100-watt solar panel array. That's what I call it, an array. I don't know if you can see that there. It probably takes up more than the camera can catch. Uh, but basically, it's four little panels, and they're each 25 watts a piece, uh, which will equate to about 100 watts. Like I said, very lightweight, very compact. And uh, like I said, it's really easy to kind of carry these things around. Some of you folks may ask, well, what are the, the, you know, the specs on something like this? And I do have those specs written down uh, just in case you guys were curious. Uh, these are 18, you see they're 18 volts, 100 watt, uh, 450 by 350 millimeters, uh, and uh, they are single crystal silicon, or also known as monocrystalline silicon solar cells. Uh, and supposedly from what they say in their website, they provide a better conversion efficiency rate of 20 to 22% higher than other uh, conventional panels. Uh, I'm not an aficionado on solar panels. Uh, so I'm still getting used to learning all the technology and everything behind it, uh, what types of solar panels are better than others. Uh, but I've used these, like uh, the video, the review that I did, uh, was it on the set power refrigerator uh, charging the battery. This did extremely well, had no issues. Uh, everything ran smoothly. Uh, so I really like that. Anyways, let me go ahead and take you inside this little uh, pouch here so that you guys can see what's inside that and what I like about that. I wanted to give you a quick look at what you get if you decide to buy something like this 
uh, solar panel here, uh, which I, this is one of my favorite things about uh, this unit so far, not even the unit itself, but the solar panels that they sent me, uh, because you get so many of these barrel connectors, right? Uh, which means that you can use these for several different other devices. So that's one benefit to buying something like this. So you have all these uh, that come with it, and every solar panel that you buy has these there, so you have extras. Now also on this part here, uh, you have a USB outlet, a quick charge outlet, a type C outlet, and a DC outlet. Uh, so let's say you just have, you, let me bring this up a little closer. If you, Let's say you just have the solar panel and you want to charge uh, a phone, you want to charge a headlamp, you want to charge anything that's roughly on USB type C, DC, uh, or whatnot on this unit, you can actually use the solar panels to accomplish that task. So to me, I thought that was kind of quite intriguing that you can use the solar panel itself with any of these plugs here. Uh, and being that you have so many options to charge, let's say something as simple as, you know, plugging in, you know, your phone. So you have a USB type C here uh, and you type it into here, you can charge this phone just with the solar panel. Uh, I thought it was kind of neat. And of course uh, it comes with the uh, DC charger here uh, that you can see there. And of course these all attach to this here. So, all right, folks, that kind of gives you a quick review and breakdown of some of what Arnova has to offer in regards to their 100-watt solar panels uh, and their 300-watt power supply. They have bigger ones and whatnot, and I'm really looking forward to hearing back from you guys in the comment sections uh, what you would use this for, uh, specifically for some of you folks out there that have a CPAP machine uh, and worry, worry uh, tremendously about power outages and long-term power outages and how this can be beneficial to you. Price point. These run about $249 on Amazon, which I'll provide the links down below if you care to look at it. Maybe dive into the specs yourself. Uh, maybe put it on your wish list. Uh, you never know. Things go on sale all the time. I don't think I have a discount code. Uh, if it is, it'll be down there. But if you click on the link, uh, that helps the channel out regardless. Uh, I think the solar panels are $239 uh, and the unit's $249. So yeah, $249 for the unit, $239 for the solar panels. Uh, and like I said, you can use these solar panels independently from uh, just buying this. So let's say if you just want some solar panels uh, that have the capability to charge devices and small electronics like your your phones, your laptops, and all the other little uh, things that run off either USB Type C, uh, quick charge, and whatnot, that might be an option for you as well. Keep one of these in your vehicle. Uh, you never know how they can come in handy. Other than that, I think that about wraps this up. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please either free feel to put them down in the comments, email me, or whatnot. Other than that, remember, folks. Be safe out there and know that you are not alone. This is Gray Matt. I'll see you guys on the rebound. God bless. Stay safe.